I'll describe a spreadsheet that calculates the concentration of polymer change for polymerization of CSTR. And it's a simplified polymerization that we have an initiation and propagation steps, but no termination steps. And initiation is just from the monomer as opposed to initiating. So that spreadsheet is located on the Learn Chemie site. Here's the link. And there are three screencasts that derive the equations that are used in the spreadsheet, and they are listed here. And what the spreadsheet does is generate this plot of fraction versus number of monomer units. This is concentration also, since we have an inlet concentration of one. And so P sub J is the polymer concentration, J units of monomer in a polymer. And J piece of sub J then is, instead of the polymer concentration, it's the weight concentration. So multiplying the polymer concentration by the number of monomer units. So, so let's look at this spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet shows in light yellow the parameters that we can change and explains what these parameters are and gives their units. And then it calculates the concentration of monomer in the reactor, which is also the concentration leaving the reactor. And then calculates the number average, the weight average, molecular weight, polydispersity, and degree of polymerization. And over here, it calculates the moments, which Zero moment is the sum, sum of the polymer concentrations. First moment, the sum basically of the weight polymers. And then the second moment is used in some calculations. And so the individual polymer concentrations are listed here. And then J piece of J. And then the weight fraction is listed here. And then the spreadsheet also generates a plot of the fraction versus monomer units. And it, in addition, contains all of the equations that were used in generating the spreadsheet. And the idea is you can change the initiation constant. For example, we change the initiation constants from 0.01 to 0.1, then we can see the distribution has changed significantly and we have to change this y-axis scale to see the, the values. So when I change it back so we can see the plots, spreadsheet is set up to have higher number and weight average molecular weights, and thus we, we have more values than we're plotting here, it, since as we change these parameters, those are going to change. But the idea is you can change some of these parameters to get an idea of how they affect the polymerization and molecular weight distribution.